Indiana, Nebraska. Now, this one should be right. Thank you. I do not uh, put these out nowhere. Remember, these are my personal keys that I use to help me in some of my handicapping right here. Let's jump into this game right here. Um, Indiana, Nebraska. Now, Nebraska, they also recently had a coach and fired. They're going to be having an interim coach along with uh, the special teams coach uh, coming up to go defensive coordinator because they fired the defensive coordinator recently as well. But in this one, coming to Nebraska, despite them being one and three, zero and one in conference, zero and four ATS, two and two over and under, coming off a home loss to Oklahoma, 14 to 49. They are the favorite this game versus the Indiana team that is three and one overall, one and oh in conference, they're one and three ATS, but um, they're three and one to the over. Last game was a road loss to a great Cincinnati. That game had a little misconception on it. Um, believe it or not, Indiana actually took the lead in that one. It was actually in the game for a while. Just couldn't handle the fourth quarter pressure of a team like Cincinnati, something that Nebraska is not. And next up, they got to play Michigan. So th- this, this is something they got to do. They got to get through right here. This is uh, Coach Tom Allen versus Coach Mickey Joseph, the interim um, Allen's in his fifth year right here, you know, so he has his recruits, everything. As a matter of fact, he has a decent quarterback with um, Belzac. He's 20 rushes on the ground, negative 51 yards, zero TDs. He's not the great runner, but he does have seven TDs. He's given up four interceptions, though, and he has a 51 rating versus C. Thompson with 24 rushing attempts, negative 19 yards. But four TDs on the ground, five TDs, three interceptions. QB rating of 55.6. So this guy is uh, just a small <clears throat> underdog QB waiting rise to the Nebraska quarterback. But, you know, there's a lot of dynamics that go in Nebraska. Um, you know, it, it's not really field related, but it's to the modern day time. Like these kids right here, you know, we just seen Brock Meyer from Boise having a bad season, jump out to the transfer portal. And, you know, teams like this start going through turmoil. A lot of these young kids, first thing they're going to do nowadays is jump out. Jump out includes two different mind states. One is let me do the best so I can jump out into something good. Two is just let me hurry up and get out of here. So those are the dynamics of that. Now let's look at this um, at this defense over here of um, Nebraska, okay? This defense is ranked almost last, 118, giving up 41 points a game, 583 yards a game. Uh, You can do it on the run or the pass. 43 attempts for 253 yards, 41 attempts for 330 yards. They only have two interceptions and two, I mean, four sacks for the season. They're giving up 50% on on third down, but they are 80% in the – in the red zone. This game is is uh, leaking from both sides. Plus, it's not enough turnovers in that as well, you know, with the two interceptions and the pressure from the sacks, only four sacks. Now, the offense over here, they're not the greatest offense, but um, they're three and one, you know what I'm saying? So we got to play respect to that. But like I said, the quarterback's not the greatest, but they're ranked 76 on offense. 26 points a game, 398 yards per game, 33 rushing attempts for 73 yards, 57 passing attempts for 324 yards. So they're definitely a pass first team. Uh, They've given up nine sacks. They're 45% converting third down, they're 84% in the red zone. Just a pass heavy offense. Um, You know, more of a, um, more of a, you know, pass first, I would say offense right there. Now, defensively, they're uh, ranked 84. They're giving up 31 points. Opponents are getting 462 yards. They're bleeding at the rush in the pass as well, too. On the ground, they're giving up 40 attempts for 157 yards. In the air, they're giving up 40 attempts for 305 yards. They only have three interceptions for the year, but – they do have 10 sacks. 
They're forty percent uh, giving up to the offense on four on on third down, and they're seventy six percent in the red zone. So they're probably like a, a team that's a little more to the bend don't break um, thing. But you know, when the offense doesn't hold the ball long, then the defense gets put on the field too much. Overall, this um, Indiana team is upside down, and we shouldn't be really betting upside down teams. Um, at all, and that's why I kind of press pause on this play right here. Not one of my favorite plays right here, but let's go to um, the offense on Nebraska, ranked 65th, 28 points a game, 455 yards. They run the ball 41 times for 176 yards. They can pass the ball 35 times for 279 yards. They have gave up 11 sacks. They're 52% on third down and 88% in the um, – red zone now they're they're not quite upside down but they do score 24 i mean 28 um on offense and they give up 41 on defense opposed to indiana who gives up i mean the score is 26 on offense and gives up 31 on defense so in this one i'm not i think the bookies are trying to trick us right here you know i think uh this is a spot right here where I want to take those points with this road dog right here. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of, it's a little conspiracy going against Nebraska who's going all what they're going through, but I, I'm going to have to go there. That's, that's all I can say about there is I'm going to have to go there with that one. But uh, 